Age of the Gods Episode 2, so while Dookie's touring the country, he decides to spend the night in the most trustworthy place. An abandoned house. Dude's asking for ghosts. I don't know, what are you gonna do sometimes? Finally, after the episode was only updated, uploaded about a couple days ago. I'm talking over all the dialogue. Teleportation, yeah. Zebra bap bap. Oh, good God. Oh, come on. Seriously, another one? And you gotta have that voice. I like to play trucks! You pretty much know what I'm here for, so let's get the chit chat and let's get with the. Let's get on with the door. I can't believe they're hiring people that are. Her, that are still children. Then you won't mind if I start first. This is how you know they're le This is how you know they're evil. They're breaking the child labor laws. I will discard a level eight monster. In order to draw two more. Or is there no child labor laws in Siberia? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, this guy's got rod in his hand. How do I know this? Yellow card. I will activate another stage in. I'll discard another level 8 monster and draw another two cards. By the way, Dookie, if you don't mind me asking, what's your boss monster? I need to know so that I can show it off and just feel like I can do like all the other cards. Okay, so like when your boss monster comes in, I can do like this sort of thing and show it off. Just to prove it's real or something like that. It's just something I do, you know? I, sw I assume it's Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, but I just want to be safe, you know? No, a plane flies overhead. You know what? I kind of feel jammed. I gotta say, though, for an abandoned house, this place is in great condition. I think abandoned house, and I think haunted house. Covered in cobwebs and everything. Then again, I shouldn't be surprised. After all, Prez hang, hung out at an abandoned house a lot. I'm not comparing you... I'm not comparing you to Prez. I'm just saying that I've seen this there. That's all. Ha! Next, I will equip him with the spell card... It's a combo with laser cannon. Oh no. No, he gains 700 attack. That explains the crackling voice is Weevil Underwood. Because I activate another spell card. Super Cocoon of Evolution. Uh oh. Now, by sacrificing one insect monster that has a quick card on it, I can special summon any other insect monster from my deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. I will special summon my Prophet the Ultimate Great Moth. Somehow the boss monster didn't get to be raw. <laughs> Prophet the Ultimate Great Moth. Destroy him. You seriously think I would let you do that if without having any kind of protection? Nope. I activate Battle Fader from my hand. Nice. The special ability allows me to special summon into the field when you declare a direct attack and then end the battle phase. Alright, so you save yourself from the big kind of pain. So, the big kind of pain, not the small kind of pain. I still have a monster with 3,500 attack points. What can you do about it? So a monster oh, with more than 3,500 attack you points. You have no idea how fucked you are. I have all the pieces I need right now to win. Literally Exodia right I'm here. Off. I don't need this card. It's not even useful anyway. First I will activate double summon. It's will allow me to normal summon twice this turn. Next I will normal summon Junk Synchron. Okay. These effects will allow me to special summon a level 2 monster from my graveyard back onto the field. I special summon a monster I send with my foolish burial. My Ray for the Light Zone Hunter. Ah, I see. But that's not all. I activate the effect of Wobble Hedgehog from my graveyard. Since I control a tuner, I can special summon into the field. Hmm. It's the same with Grace for Charity. Thanks to my double summon, I still have one more normal summon. So I will normal summon Drill Synchron. Alright, first I will use Junk Synchron and Reaper the Light Zone Hunter to Synchro Summon. Now, I will Synchro Summon Junk Warrior. my Magical Android. No. I'm not done there. I still have my Cobalt Tenshog and my Drill Synchron. Cobalt Tenshog will be banished because of his special ability. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't matter because I can still Synchro Summon again. Now, I will Synchro Summon LA of Justice Catastrophe. I remember when this guy was in meta. And I'm still not Those done. Those are ancient times, but... Monster Reborn. <laughs> you know. This will allow me to bring back another monster from my graveyard. Junk Synchron? I will bring back 
Mecha Phantom Beast Warper. You must have sent that with the uh, with the you know, Graceful Charity too. Oh, and he's a tuner, by the way. So. Oh, great. I tune him together with my Battle Fader. Battle Fader will be banished because of special ability. A lot of mm, quite a few banishments. But now I can see Go Summon again. Formula Synchron. This is proves that this is, we're in MR3, oh, I everybody. I don't have any problems with that, I'm just, you know, bringing it up for the audience's sake who would be like, card. Where's the extra monster sound? There's always gonna be that one guy. You are fudged! Now, shooting Quasar Dragon has two attacks. Now, Shooting Quasar Dragon, Dude, what's attack effect? perfect the ultimate great mark, and then attacking directly and end this duel! The creation no. burst out! My ultimate My me! I remember when shooting Quasar was the definition of a boss monster. Nowadays, his boss monster effects are on just about every other card, so... He, he really lost his flair. Nighty nights! You probably beat them in your sleep, too. Hey, it's fine, dude. I'm fine with it. <laughs> well, good job on that one. I didn't have any problems with that one, honestly. And if you don't, if you ever want the entire episode being short, it's fine, you know. I've done short episodes before, and sometimes it's kind of refreshing to have, again, a short episode. And hey, it's still good, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. See ya!